Hi, I'm Tracy Cardwell from LP Simonelli and the host of the Buffalo Public Schools Renovation Project, Making It Happen. Right now, I'm standing in the new walkway at the Burgard Vocational High School right here at, on Kensington Avenue. I'm sure if you've driven on the Kensington, you have seen the tremendous work that they're doing here. So a little later on, we're going to take you on a tour of all the great things that uh, they are doing. We're going to go with Project Manager Vaughn Maracle and Project Superintendent Carl Pospesel. Our Minority Business Spotlight this month is Joy Keebler Landscape Architect PC. Joy and I will talk about all of the wonderful projects that she's done on the different uh, schools projects, including this one. Uh, you don't want to miss that. Joy has got a wonderful resume of work that she has done in the past and work that she's doing for the future. But first, we want to take you to a project that we visited last year. Bennett Park Montessori, located on Clinton Street, celebrated its grand opening with a press conference on April 30th. What a joy it was to see the happy faces of not only the students, but the teachers, the faculty, the staff, the parents, uh, even Dr. Williams was so pleased with the outcome of that school. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Good morning. I'm Judy Fix, Principal of Bennett Park Montessori Center, and on behalf of our entire school community, I would like to welcome all of you to our newly reconstructed building. Joining us this morning are Superintendent Dr. James A. Williams, Buffalo School CFO and COO, Mr. Gary Crosby, LP Simonelli Project Manager, Robin Moody Loggins, students and parents from our community, and the Bennett Park Montessori Community and Parent Association President, Ms. Valerie DePasquale. I want to begin by saying how proud we are of this beautifully reconstructed building. When thinking about what to say about this enormous project, I asked some of the students what their thoughts and feelings were about this building. One of the students here said, we finally have a beautiful school that we deserve. And she was right. The letter you see here was made by our youngest students to express their thoughts and feelings about this school. They wrote it with their teacher, signed it, and presented it to me. These are just two examples of how happy the students are to be back here home at Bennett Park Montessori. Bennett Park Montessori began at this site 32 years ago as one of the few public Montessori schools in the United States. In 2005, when I arrived here in Buffalo, um, this project, the joint construction project, had started, and we were uh, just at the end of phase one. And uh, I was very surprised because uh, a billion dollar construction project in an urban school district is unheard of in this country. It's unheard of. There are some schools in this country that are 50, 60, 70 years old. And in some school districts, the majority of them, they have not built any schools in many, many years. But this is the largest uh, construction project in the history of the city of Buffalo. And we are just about uh, 50, 60 percent there, but we have approval for pretty close to 85 percent of this project, and we are moving into phase five. And I want to say a big thank you to the uh, overall contractor, L.P. Simonelli, and his team that uh, are working very closely with us, along with uh, the lead person, uh, Gene Potras, that's working with us. But I'm not going to talk too much because uh, there are a lot of people on my staff that uh, uh, deserve the credit for what we're doing and how we got where we are. And one of those individuals that uh, was here when I came was Gary Crosby. And uh, when I got here, we had uh, two components. We had the joint construction component, and we had the day-to-day -day operation of the school system. And right away, I recognized I wanted one system. I wanted the joint construction project to be a part of the day-to-day -day operation of Chief Financial, Chief Operating Officer's office. And we made that change, and uh, we're very pleased that we did because uh, uh, Mr. Crosby has done an outstanding job in representing this school district and taking the lead and making sure that the work is being done. 
So I would like for Mr. Crosby to come forward and share with you the process, how we got there, and uh, anything else he would like to say. Thank you, Dr. Williams. I was, you, you told me I only had a minute, so I'm going to use that minute just to tell you a couple things. What I don't want to get lost here is we've put two schools under one roof here, two Montessori schools, School 78 over on Olympic Avenue and School 32 have been put together under one roof. Um, the parents at both schools are very, very involved in their children's education, and they became very, very involved in the reconstruction of this school. And the final product is uh, better because of their involvement. We listen to our parents, our customers, and um, I want to thank them publicly for all their hard work and support. They not only held us accountable for delivering on our promises, but they also contributed plans and designs capturing the parents' vision of what certain parts of this project should look like. And they also continue to hold us accountable and collaborate with us as we work on the punch list of the final to-do items. And this, uh, this collaboration will serve as a model going forward for our phase four and five schools. Any parents that do want to get involved in the reconstruction of their school, we have a model that we know will work and will result in a better project because of their involvement. So again, uh, thank you to the parents of 78 and 32. Uh, we appreciate your support. Thank you. Now the project manager of uh, this project, Ms. Loggins. Isn't she big? <laughs> Good morning. After approximately two years of hard work, it is very exciting and gratifying to be here today to hand over this tremendous new school to the students, parents, faculty, and school district. L.P. Simonelli would like to thank our partner, the Buffalo School District, for their unwavering support and patience during this renovation and expansion process. We would also like to thank the subcontractors who were dedicated from day one to making this project a huge success. At the peak of the project, we had nearly 100 workers on site, and they were all true professionals who took great pride in their craft. From a professional standpoint, you always feel a sense of accomplishment when you complete a job, but I had the opportunity to be here on the first day of school and assisted with getting the kids to their classrooms and seeing the smiles on their faces and how much they were, how excited they were to be here. And it kind of put everything in perspective because all the hard work that we're doing is really all about the kids. And I think we've all done a tremendous job. In closing, I just want to say to the students that I hope you guys enjoy your new school and take full advantage of your new surroundings. Thank you very much. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I can show you.